guys welcome to another sketch tutorial so today we are going to talk about how to get the maximum number and the minimum number from a list map in sketcher so from the beginning open sketcher and let's create a project so in this case i will create the project as max value and minimum so i will name the project as max and minimum mean so what has happened is I am going to add some data to actually some numbers and getting those the maximum value and the minimum value. So first of all, uh, let's create a list map so you can easily understand the uh, variation, uh, differentiation of the numbers according to the list. So it's easy and uh, just drag and drop a linear vertical and put the width as match parent and uh, put a list map sorry a list view and in the list view the width should be match parent and uh, and you have to create a custom view of for the list map so in this in this uh, situation you can create your own custom view as you wish but the number should be just a number so let's see uh, let's go to custom view and let's click this icon and create uh, in this case i will rename as custom And just add okay and go to the custom xml and let's just add a text view so in this case I will just add a text view to display the numbers so what happened is I'm going to get the maximum value and the minimum value of the particular list map so let's go and go to the view and let's go to the main xml and let's put the custom view of like custom of xml and now let's start the logic path so the logic path for this i will create easy logic path so you all can understand what happening so in this case i will create a mob block uh, mob block means a collection of uh, codes basically it's a collection of codes so everyone can understand easily so in this case i will create a mob block click this fab and add the name as add data so you can rename as you wish so in this case i will rename as add data and i just created it okay on the add data go to the add data and put a repeat block uh, to repeat uh, five times so repeat five times so what happened is it will repeat five times according to the codings so repeat five times and create let's create a map variable then name it as map and uh, just put these blocks create new map put key one just put two keys two and add the map replace as the variable we just created map map and add those data let's create a list map uh, let's call the list map a map click this one and let's create name it as list map create add then we just added it and add those map variables to the list map okay so this will happen five times okay so now um, on put key the key we let's put as id and let's put the text as another key text as text just for example uh, so it, you can understand the category you can have more variable maps like uh, like 10 15 like if you are using a store you will be having like more than 10 variables uh, you can offer but the important things is the numbers value so this id should be only numbers no so this should be very unique and it should be only numbers if you are replacing text uh, the logic part will be getting some errors because I am basically uh, checking the numbers according to the different and the greater values of according to each other so this value so may think about you are getting the max downloads the maximum downloads or maximum likes so those variable this kind of variable should be an integer that means it should be not uh, it should be a number basically it should be a number so let's add some numbers so in this case i don't have random numbers so i will put something like this um to string without decimal and pick 
random numbers between 0 and 100 okay so it will pick some numbers between 0 and 100 sorry uh, yeah between 0 and 100 let's put 100 0 and 100 so in this case uh, it will repeat five times and you will create five map variables and in each uh, map variable the id will be a number and the number will be between 0 and 100 so the text let's put as example um let's can we can put anything okay for the example i put punish Nima, my name okay so that's it so this is the more block that we add the data to the list map okay so now let's uh, go to the on create and add those go to this fab and add more go to more block and add data okay add data and what happen is it will add the data to the list view so to add to the list view you have to add some more logic codes which you go to the view and scroll down a little bit and you will get to find a more a blocks two blocks called list uh, set list custom list view data list map and refresh data so this uh, should be list map according to list map and the list view should be the list view one the id is list view one and list view one so this is the basically i'm getting some numbers so before running you have to we have to add or create on bind custom view because without that the map, map variable won't get the keys without keys without adding the custom on bind custom view keys uh, you can't get the data to the correct position so now let's create the uh, let's click the list view and uh, go to events and you can see there is an event called on bind custom view click that one and it'll be create a new event added and on that add a text set text view go to the views and go to the view section and drag and drop the block called set text and set text is the text one so if you don't understand on bind custom let me know in the comment section because i will explain in that condition so if you know the on bind custom view so you easily can recognize what is the numbers and what is the variables and what are the keys so in this case uh, i will put get text value get at text value according to the list map data so i have added some i have added the list map to the list view so what happened is those data sh I, in that curve position the id should be displayed so as you remember i have placed a key called id for the number so those numbers will be displayed on the text view one so now let's run and see what is the output so this uh, compile, compiling is not the final output because the final output should be displayed the maximum number and the minimum number. So let's install it and see uh, the, the data conditions. So it will be adding five data. So now let's open and voila. Okay, you can see now there are like uh, five data, right? One, two, three, four, five data. And this five data, the maximum value is 94 and the minimum value is 31 so how we do get that so now let's move to that part so now I'll go to that particular project that that we just created and uh, let's go to the logic part so what is the logic part is you have to create another blow block uh, it's easy to you to understand the code when you get errors you can fix it easily let's get uh, something called more block no let's get get max value max value so you can understand easily what is that particular mob get max value so in here you have to create some variables and you have to replace some variables so in this case i will create a variable called max and a variable called count okay so now let's create the was a number variable actually okay uh, because i as i mentioned above it, the kind of value should be numbers and so if you put in some text in this logic part you will get errors definitely you will get errors so make sure you go through the whole video and understand how we use it so now let's create the variable and here you have to create it as count one variable called count and what we one variable called max okay okay max 
so in this max value the ma value should be incremented as max value so what happen is um, set two set two number and one count should be zero and uh, then the max value should be two number because as I mentioned previously it is a number it should be converted to a number and the text get value at position zero okay make sure you follow my step at position zero the key is id as you remember we said the numbers into id in the of the list map okay so in this variable we are getting just one the the zero position one data and just adding to the max value so and we have to add a repeat block to repeat according to the length of the list map okay okay according to the list map we have just uh, added the data so basically if, if we had add five data this repetition will be looped five times okay so selected so it will be repeated five times so in here you have to add an if condition okay to check whether the value is greater than the other values so how it works is you just add the if condition block here and add if it's greater than or oh, if the max value is lesser than uh, is, is lesser than the value of the count then show the maximum value so in here okay let's see um, put the max value here and to number copy this block and add here and in this position the position it's not zero it should not should be zero it should be count okay okay if uh, the max value is lesser than equal to the number uh, to the number then what should be is if it's lesser then the, the number max should be replaced as the count so I should just copy this one and it should be count and it should be increased here okay make sure you follow my step so what happen if you put the variable as max so what happen is uh, it checks whether the max value is lesser than the value getting from the list map at that current position and it is increasing by one at it we go to the beginning and from the beginning it the value should be increased by one here sorry it's not max it's count so the count will be increasing four times because it's starting from zero zero one two three four so it did stop at five which the position is four so from that so we just add a toast okay and uh, on that toast let's put we have to convert that current number variable to a string so what we are going to go to, go to the operators and get this block to string without uh, without decimals we got if you have decimal just put with decimals block so we just add the max value so here is the blocks to get the maximum value so let's go and check it out so now what we need is go to on create and put that current block after the refreshment of the list view so just put here okay okay now let's start so now let's run the project and see the maximum value we just added okay install okay now uh, we'll, on create we'll be getting a value toasting and we'll see what is the value okay it says 55 so check whether the numbers uh, here is 55 so the maximum value as you can see is 55 right so you can see the there's no other car greater value and uh, the value we just on create was 55 so this is how we get the maximum value from a list view so now let's shift to how to get the minimum value of the current list map so let's go to the logic part and create another block sorry another more block get as get min value get mean value okay okay get mean value and just create and you just need to copy the code this current blocks copy add to collection I will put as data 
okay just put to the collection and go copy these codes and add to the minimum value and just drag and drop here okay so i have just got more words and just put it here and you will see just the same just you need to replace some variables and some blocks so what is the variable that you have to replace is uh, just create uh, another variable called mean and you have to create and just replace some blocks so what are the blocks you have to replace is uh, this one okay you have to replace the greater value instead of the lesser value okay so you can see the different okay just replace it here okay done replaced so you have to replace the minimum here and you have to replace the minimum variable here also and the count is the same and here it should be minimum so now you can see the count is zero and minimum value is getting from the list map and the max value okay here should be minimum make sure you follow the steps and done so let's go to the coding parts on create remove this one because if you don't remove it will replace the maximum value also so remove that one and let's go to the minimum value okay okay i just put the more block of get minimum value min value okay okay let's go back and run the project so in this case uh, the value of the list map will be toasted as the the minimum value uh, that we will get from the list view okay install okay now just install and okay the minimum value is 40 so check whether the minimum value is 40 yes in this current position the minimum value is 40 then the values are very correct right so this is how we uh, get the minimum value from a list map so let's see so this is the these are the values uh, that is the if you don't understand if the data are changed it's uh, because of when you go to here uh, you you may ask a question like why are the data changing every time so the reason of that is we if you go to the more block uh, if you can see uh, we are creating the application and picking some random numbers so what this mean by random numbers is you are picking some randomly like just like 1 2 50 19 between 0 and 100 so don't worry about that so if you if you are going to get the data uh, from a firebase or any other method or json to a string if you are replacing the numbers then fine just as that should be a number so if it's that the id key is a number you can easily check up the maximum value of the particular list map and the minimum value of that particular list map so hope you understand and if you have any doubts or any question regarding this particular part let me know in the comment section so thanks for watching and please subscribe thank you